Many years ago, I had to dart one of these three toed monsters. Africa's white rhino. I was darting a youngster to translocate him to a new area. I had to get up really close to dart him, probably 50 meters away. And having darted him successfully, he and his mother turned on me and came charging straight towards the tree I was standing behind. But I was convinced they couldn't see me because their eyesight is so bad. And they ran right up to the tree and then split as they got to the tree and came back across behind the tree and touched horns just behind me and then luckily they carried on. I had no time to climb the tree and was sure I was going to get a horn up the, you know. Rhino horn is made up of compressed hair, just like the nail on your finger. And so the thought that this could be used as an aphrodisiac is a complete fallacy. And yet this has resulted in the complete demise of these amazing animals. I was travelling in the south today back on the burnt area and I saw this cloud of dust and I couldn't work out what it was. And then looking closely I just saw thousands and thousands of birds. Red bulled quilia, Africa's most numerous bird. And it was amazing how much food they were finding in this burnt area. Obviously all the seeds have fallen to the ground these don't get burnt as the coolest part of the fire is actually on the ground. 